Welcome and thanks for joining Basingstoke Salvation Army's daily devotional, Battle Drill, with Lieutenant Rob. For more information, please head to basingstokesalvationarmy.7.net forward slash battle drill. Hello again. Let's turn to our Bible reading for this week. It's Mark chapter 3, verses 31 to 35. And today I'm reading from the New Living Translation. The True Family of Jesus Then Jesus' mother and brothers came to see him. They stood outside and sent word for him to come out and talk with them. There was a crowd sitting around Jesus, and someone said, Your mother and your brothers are outside asking for you. Jesus replied, Who is my mother? Who are my brothers? Then he looked at those around him and said, Look, these are my mother and brothers. Anyone who does God's will is my brother and sister and mother. Amen. Our families teach us so much. If we grew up in a Christian family, then they may have taught us how to pray, how to read the Bible, and how to take part in worship. But they may also have ingrained habits and ways of behaving which have an annoying habit of raising their ugly heads, particularly when we're under stress. Dealing with these is painful. None of us want to feel that we're betraying our family in any way, and digging up the dirt on them seems unfair. But if we do not do the challenging work of going back to move forward, then the only way we can deal with these unhealthy habits and ways of behaving is to compartmentalise our spiritual life from the rest of our lives. The problem is, of course, that it doesn't work. I know from my own experience that we can make sure that our shoes are clean and that our uniforms are well-pressed and then dress up in them on a Sunday morning and proceed to have an almighty row because someone in the family isn't ready on time or the girls are fighting or no one helped to get lunch ready. The family arrives at church barely speaking to each other and silently seething. The jack is out of the box again. If we have unhealthy habits and patterns of behaviour that pop out, especially when we're stressed, then the only thing we can do is to go back to move forwards. It's painful, but we have little choice. The good news is that Jesus is more than willing to help remove the weight of this baggage. So let's choose to place our hope in him. As you reflect on these words today, ask yourself these two questions. Over two or three generations, how was conflict handled in your family? And can you see this pattern in the way that you handle conflict? And I'll see you tomorrow for another Battle Drill. We hope you've been encouraged and equipped by this daily devotional. Why not find us on Facebook, Instagram or YouTube by searching for Basingstoke Salvation Army. And join us again soon for another battle drill. God bless you.